Ukrainian defenders oust Russian forces from some positions in Bakhmut. This post received a score of 9,200, with an up-vote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. There's going to be movies, documentaries about the fierce hold of Bakhmut. Bakhmut has been a longer battle than Stalingrad. The city broke before the guard did. Except the guard has not broken. That's what I love about the saying. The guard never broke, even as the planet exploded about them. They defended until the last literally did not exist and they were made to dust. Nine months. It's taken over nine months for Russia to try to capture a small city with a pre-war population on 70k. They've thrown everything at it, with upwards of 40k Kia, and they get pushed back in a day by a couple of blocks that took them weeks to take in the first place. The level of Russian military incompetence is staggering, while Ukrainians have shown themselves to be lions. Glory to the heroes. And don't forget that city is just a few dozens km from the pre-2022 front line. If a snail had started slithering west at the start of the war it would have overtaken the Russian advance by now. Average speed of a snail according to Google is 0.03 miles per hour. That's 33 hours to go one mile. Assuming it was traveling 24-7 on a flat surface, that's 311 miles. You're right. Till a snail could have traveled more in the last year than me. This is a good sign they're making waves limiting the size of Russia's land bridge. Cut off the land bridge and the war is essentially over, as it'll starve Crimea of supplies and limit Russia's ability to push further inland. Couldn't the Russians set up an air bridge or supply from the sea? The Crimean Peninsula is home to roughly the same number of people as West Berlin during the Cold War blockade. The Allies were airlifting almost 9,000 tons of supplies into the city a day, with sometimes over 1,300 supply flights going into the city per day. Modern-day Russia would not be able to do this in any capacity. I guess supplying by sea would be an option since Ukraine doesn't really have a navy. Whoa, that's pretty deep in there. If they just drive south from there, they'll have cut off most of the Russian front. Interesting this follows on articles 24 hours ago about how Wagner is falling apart, as Wagner was holding this position. Everything seems to be pointing towards a shift in Russian logistics. The question is if it's intentional. It could be a long-term shift in Ukrainian strategy. Since they lack the 3 to 1 ratio preferred for offensive operations, they will target logistics to offset Russia's manpower advantage. The combined impact of Ukrainian targeting of Russian logistics, partisan operations, and Russian self-sabotage can weaken sections of the front that can then be targeted by the brand new Western-equipped brigades that are trained in combined arms warfare. It's quite fascinating to see the various historic strategic theories coming together in Ukraine. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.